What's going on YouTube? This is Ultima Eye Device Vids, and this is Tweak Recap. And if you're not familiar with this series, I round up five of the best Cydia tweaks that are currently available in Cydia. Let's begin. And the first tweak I'm going to show you today is called Smart Search. It's available in Cydia for $2.49. And this tweak will allow you to search various sources using Spotlight Search as opposed to just your local device. After you have installed the tweak on your device, you can just activate Spotlight Search like this. And you're going to notice that you have a completely new design at the top. You have the device icon, which indicates, of course, just that it's the local device that it's going to search. The next one is the App Store icon, which, of course, will search the App Store. Then you have a Google search button. It's going to search Google. Then a Spotify icon, so you can search Spotify. And then a Videos icon. And the Videos icon will search TMDB, which is a very popular movie database. And if you swipe like this, there are some more options. You have Wikipedia, YouTube, and iTunes. And for an example, I'm going to do an App Store search. So I'm just going to select the App Store icon up here. And I'm going to type in an app name. I'm going to do Netflix. So I'll just type in Netflix here. Then tap search. And you can see it's bringing up the App Store results. And if you tap on one of the apps, for example, I'm just going to tap on the Netflix app here. It's going to open up the App Store to that apps page where, of course, you could read about the application and install it if you want to. I also wanted to let you know that the local portion of Spotlight Search under the device icon is not changed at all. That works the same way that it always has. You can rearrange and disable certain portions of Spotlight Search. And how you do that is you go into settings on your device and scroll down until you do see Smart Search and go in there. Then go into plugins. Then you have a list of all of the search sources. You can just tap like this to enable or disable them. And of course, as you can see, it's going to check and uncheck them. You can rearrange them by grabbing onto the drag handle here, and again, you can just rearrange all your options. The changes do take effect immediately. As you can see, I can pull down Spotlight here, and again, you can see that the change has taken effect. And that's all for this tweak. Again, it's called Smart Search. It's available in Cydia for $2.49. And the next tweak I'm going to show you is called No Player Blur. It's available in Cydia for free, and this tweak removes the blur from playing videos on iOS 7. I'm going to open up Safari here to demonstrate, and I'm going to go into landscape mode, and I'm going to play a video. Now, as you can see, the video is visible behind the top and bottom bars. Normally that is blurred, but again, this tweak will remove that blur. There are some settings to configure for this tweak, so after you have installed it, you can go into settings on your device, and scroll down until you do see no player blur, and go in there, and in here we have some options to configure. The first option is the Disable Blur Toggle, and by default it is on because that is the primary function of this tweak to disable the blur in the top and bottom bars of the music player in iOS 7. I'm just going to disable the Disable Blur Toggle and show you what it looks like. And after you do make any changes to the settings panel, you're going to want to kill the app that you're playing the video in. In my case, it was Safari because, again, I was playing a YouTube video in Safari, so I'm just going to double tap the Home button here and swipe up on Safari. Then I'm going to go back into Safari here. And I'm just going to play the video again, and again go into landscape mode. And this is what it looks like with disable blur disabled. So let's go back into settings here. I want to show you one more option, and it is the player transparency. And of course, using the player transparency slider, you could configure how transparent the top and bottom bars are. And just so you know, the further the slider is to the left, the more transparent the top and bottom bars will be. And just as a reminder, if you change any of these settings, you're going to have to kill the app that, again, you're playing the video on, then relaunch it, then you're going to see that the changes have taken effect. That's all for this tweak. Once again, it's called No Player Blur. It's available in Cydia for free. And the next tweak I'm going to show you is called Brevity. It's available in Cydia for $0.99. Cents. And this tweak will allow you to send quick responses to iMessages or text messages. And I'm going to show you how this works, of course. And once you've installed the tweak on your device, you're going to want to go into Settings, and scroll down until you do see Brevity and go in there. And as soon as you go into the preferences, you're going to see the text macro settings. Now, the first option is where you actually put in your automated response. In my case, I just typed in testing. And then beneath that, you have the long shortcut preview toggle. Now, this toggle is hard to explain, so I'm going to come back to it later after I show you how the tweak works. And once you're satisfied with all your settings, you can just select save changes right here, and then all the changes will automatically take effect. I'm going to go into the messages app now. And here I am inside a message thread. Now you can see where the send button would normally be, I have a dot 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 icon. Now the reason for this is because I have a really long auto-configured reply. If it's shorter, it would actually say the reply right here. But again, mine's testing, and if I select this button right here, it's just going to send my response. 
Now, if you want to say something other than your auto configure response, you just type it out just like this. And you can see there the dot 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 button changes into the send button. And of course, you could send any text that you normally would send. Now, if your automated response is a longer one like mine is, what you could do is go into settings on your device and enable long shortcut preview, then select save changes. And what that's going to do is it's going to actually put your automatic response in the text box. As you can see right there, it says say testing in the text box. If you want to send your automatic response, of course, you could just select dot, 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 and it will work the same way that it did just a second ago. And of course, if you want to send a normal text, you could just start typing and the dot, dot, dot icon will again change to a send icon and you could just send normal text messages. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like if you have a shorter automatic phrase. So I'm going to go into settings here and I'm going to change my text macro to just test as opposed to test ing and then select save changes. And now I'm going to go back into the messages app and you notice as opposed to having a dot 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 where the send button would normally be, now it actually says test because again, the word is small enough that it fits in that space. It does work the same way as the dot 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 worked. You could just select it and again, it sends that particular phrase or word. It also works the same way when you're just sending a normal message. So if I just start typing, you can see there the test word automatically changes into the send button. And of course, I could just send any text message like I normally would. Now, I have found one problem with this tweak, and what it is, is if you send an automatic response to somebody just like this, and that person is in the thread for you, it's going to say dot, 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 even after you've sent the message. So, of course, the dot, dot, dot indicates that you're still typing, and of course, you're not. And I haven't found a way for it to stop saying dot, 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 other than deleting the thread on your device. And of course, as you can see, if I just type a normal text message and send it, it's going to continue to say dot, 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 or if I use an automatic response. So again, the only way for it to stop is to just completely delete the thread. And then of course, you could start over and make a new thread with that particular person. Now, this problem does not affect you. It affects the person that you're texting. So hopefully the developer will get a fix for that soon. So again, other people who you're texting don't have to deal with that dot, dot, dot constantly being in their messages thread. And that's all for this tweak. Again, it's called Brevity. It's available in Cydia for 99 cents. And next up is Control Center iOS 8. And this is actually a winterboard theme and it allows you to get the iOS 8 beta 4 and above style notification center on iOS 7. And to configure this after you've installed it, you're going to want to go into winterboard on your device. And if you didn't have winterboard installed, this tweak will automatically install it for you. But you're going to go into winterboard and select themes and you're going to see Control Center iOS 8. Just select that and go back in winterboard and select respring. And now I'm just going to slide to unlock. I'm going to open up Control Center here, and you can see now my Control Center is styled just like the one in iOS 8.0 Beta 4 and above. And that's all for this theme. Again, it's called Control Center iOS 8. It's available in Cydia for free. And the fifth and final tweak I'm going to show you is called Disable Lock Camera. It's available in Cydia for free. And this tweak disables camera access from the lock screen. This tweak does block camera access through the camera grabber on the lock screen and also blocks access through the control center on the lock screen. And after you have installed it, there's no settings to configure. You could just go ahead and lock your device and you're going to notice that the camera grabber is completely gone from the bottom of the screen. And if you slide up to access control center, you're going to notice that the camera shortcut at the bottom is completely gone. This tweak is useful for people who have a passcode on their device or touch ID enabled because of course someone can't just pick up your device, start taking pictures until they put in the passcode or verify using touch ID. After you put in your passcode or verify using touch ID and then open up control center, of course the camera shortcut will be back as you can see. And once again, this tweak is called disable lock camera. It's available in Cydia for free. And that's all for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.